Good morning. It's so nice to see you again, Dr. Kara of KH Evolution. And this week in our message, I want to talk a little bit about uh, duality. So duality seems to be the information that's coming through and what I'm being shown. And I'd like to just uh, talk about it a little bit so that, again, you can broaden uh, your awareness throughout the week as you move through the different activities and connect with different people. So um, duality can be seen in just about every area, but um, not that I like to talk about politics, but I, it is very, very evident in our political uh, system right now, also our medical system, where we see this big division where there's you know, light and dark, this side or that side. And there's this, um, there's this pressure to really pick a side. And so what I'm gonna invite you to do is to not pick a side and to try to identify with neutrality and identify with um, the, like a non-alignment with either side, right? So it's important that we recognize that every time we uh, choose a side or pick a path and uh, criticize someone who's not on the same path or not making the same or similar choices, that we are in effect creating a deeper divide. We are in effect creating greater duality. And, and really the, uh, the part that of duality that my guides are talking to me about this week is related to uh, this good versus evil, black versus white, um, right versus wrong. And so we can see this, uh, this how this division can really create um, alienation, uh, judgment, self-judgment, doubt, fear. So the important aspect of coming to neutral and really being rooted in your own personal decisions and the truth of those decisions, when we are rooted in them, we don't, we don't uh, seek people outside of us or around us to join our camp or to join our opinions and our thoughts. Discussion, great, that's important. But to um, have a conversation in a way in which we wanna sway people, or we want to uh, put pressure upon them to make a decision that aligns with us so that we can feel more comfortable is a very scary place to be. And when we can recognize that we're doing this, uh, most of the time inadvertently and very innocently. So it's not, a, it's not there's no malicious intent behind it. It's just uh, a, a part of human nature that we tend to navigate towards. And it's an important thing to look at as we begin 2022, because we are really setting the foundation over these next uh, two or three more weeks for the energy and the flavor of what 2022 will bring about and what we will experience. And so um, my guides and my team that I work with are really, uh, really encouraging us to think outside of duality and move into a space of non-duality and what would non-duality look like and feel like and and be like and and of course um there's a there is a progression of sorts typically when we move along a path we can't just turn switches off uh really uh, easily like a light switch and say i'm going to stop feeling that or i'm going to stop experiencing that so again the first step is really coming into greater awareness that this is even happening or and then identifying where it's happening in your life um, and this can take some time but hopefully the discussion today uh, has brought up some awareness for you and will open up the awareness around you at least in the coming week or two about where where um, you may be uh, aligning with certain sides or aspects of thinking and that alignment is actually projecting rejection and judgment outward. Um, because, you know, I, I feel strongly that 
judgment and resentment and um, and um, pointing fingers is really not um, not kindness, right? And love and acceptance. And as we move into a space or society of greater love and acceptance um, and less judgment, that's where we're going to see the inequality drop. That's where we're going to see um, we're going to see equality grow, right? And love amongst all of us uh, grow. And so um, everybody's on their just their own timeline. Everybody's on their own journey. And it is impossible for everyone to see things through our eyes uh, or through one same perspective. And if we can shift and pivot and start to see this as part of a joy of life rather than a threat in our life. Um, differing opinions are typically not a threat, but we are groomed to think that way. We are groomed to look at it that way um, through uh, many different uh, avenues in our life. So today, uh, the gift through this uh, video is to do a short mini meditation with you to start to get your kundalini energy rising. So um, kundalini energy is really uh, sits in the base of our spine and it is our life force energy that feeds the rest of our, our body and our mind and our soul. And so this life force energy that sits in the base of our spine is actually um, made up of, uh, of uh, the divine feminine and the divine masculine, right? So uh, typically we think of the divine feminine and the divine masculine as this uh, duality, right? It's, it's masculine or feminine. It's again, black or white. And so again, uh, my message to you today is really to open up to the possibility of non-duality. And so when we have this divine masculine, divine feminine energy merging together and creating the right um, potency, the right uh, combination for each of us individually, that's when we can open and shift our vibration and we can grow and expand and we can, um, we can really open to receive, right? Which is, which is a beautiful thing. So uh, I just want to walk you through, um, again, a mini meditation uh, at the moment to, um, to give you a gift to work with throughout the week. And however you want to work with it is great. If you have questions about it, again, please uh, put them in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Um, if you're struggling with making this meditation work, and kind of moving the energy because that's really what the guided meditations from a shamanic perspective do is it helps us to uh, learn how to move our own energy. And um, that's, that's critical. And it's going to be even more critical as we move forward in this um, ever evolving world. So let's drop in by closing our eyes, taking a couple of nice deep breaths in through our nose, exhaling out through the mouth. And just uh, settling into our body. And now bringing your awareness down to the center of your chest, your heart center. We're going to take a moment here to just create a beam of light and this beam of light is going to move downward along the spine, exit the base of the spine, and then enter Mother Earth and go all the way to the core of Mother Earth. So just visualize this beam of bright white light immediately going to the center of Mother Earth. And as we say hello to Mother Earth, the divine feminine energy, today we are going to recognize that we can receive both the divine feminine and divine masculine from our Earth Mother. And as we do, 
we're going to kind of visualize or feel or get a sense or just know, trust that this divine masculine, divine feminine energy is going to come up that tube that you just created all the way up the tube and connect into our own kundalini energy at the base of our spine. And as the gift of energy from Mother Earth merges with our own life force energy, we can see and feel it expand in the base of our spine. And as it expands, it might look like an orb of light. Just take note of what color light that might be. And now, slowly, we're just going to allow this ball of light to to draw two cords of energy out of the top of it. And this energy, one masculine, one feminine, is going to weave up around our root chakra. And it's gonna cross above the root chakra and it's gonna weave around the second chakra. It's gonna cross again and weave around your third chakra, which is in the center of your, your belly, below your diaphragm, above your belly button. And now it's gonna rise again around the heart center, crossing above the heart center, and now moving around the throat, crossing above the throat, and then moving around the center of your third eye in your forehead. And these two energies will cross again. and then weave upward around the crown center at the top of your head. And now we're going to just allow these uh, tubes of energy to connect upward with Father Sky. Again, represents the divine masculine, but in this case today, also can gift both divine feminine and divine masculine energy. And just stay here for as long as you like, just allowing yourself to feel that Kundalini energy rising upward through the core of your body. You might feel heat, you might feel an increase in energy, greater awareness, stability. And when you're ready, just take a couple of nice deep breaths and gently open your eyes coming back into present time and back into the room. So I'll make a few notes under the video about this mini meditation experience for you. Don't forget we have a shift experience coming up on Thursday at 4 p.m. If you can't make the live time, it's recorded and available to you for 48 hours. Don't forget to check that out. 
Have an amazing, blessed, abundant week. Be well.